Good morning, good afternoon. It's Carla. I'm Carla. I'm from uh, I Groom Dogs. I'm the owner operator here. And I'm just giving a good example here. This is, uh, what's this baby's name? Oh my goodness, Doodlebug. Okay, and so I'm uh, as I'm grooming Doodlebug, um, I'm doing something that I don't do on every groom. And so I thought I'd cut a quick video to show um, uh, certain circumstances require us to get a little bit more creative. Okay, so I have this side of Doodlebug pre-shaved. Hold on, Doodle. This side is not. Let me go on the other side because he likes to, they like to look out my window. It's set up that way, so... Okay, so he's got this crazy hair, right? It's um, two different kinds because he's a mix. He's a um, chorky. So he's got some soft coat, and then he's got a little bit coarser undercoat. Okay, and let me give you an example of why I'm doing the technique I'm doing. Hold on, Doodle. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm just doing reverse blading because when we go across this crazy hair, when I go across this crazy hair, it's not really going to cut it in one length. I think it's going to leave this kind of choppy because he's got, I always say Yorkie hair don't care. I know he's a chorky, but he's got Yorkie in him. And so coming down on this hair, you're never going to get an even cut. Well, you, you can, but you're going to have to do this a thousand times, right? So one of the ways around that, that I found that works, right, like this, this to me looks like, doesn't look like it's supposed to, because, right, so what I do in this instance with the crazy hairs, is I do reverse blading, and that gets underneath this hair, and cuts it all the same length. over it a thousand times and it leaves that really nice like this on the other side all right a nice smooth cut without having to go back over all those crazy hairs a thousand times so um one of the he likes to cuddle into me i'm not gonna let you cuddle into me you can't lean on me so, um, to get an idea, I would normally do this guy in a, um, let me see what I'm doing here. I would normally do him, isn't he cute? Yeah, that side looks so much better, buddy. I would normally do him with a blue guard comb, which is a number two, All right? Let's see if I can get some focus going on here. which as you see leaves the hair three-eighths. That three-eighths? Three-eighths. Three-eighths of an inch. Okay? Um, but like I said, that blue going with the hair is going to leave it wild and crazy like it is on this side. So what I do is I go one up from the blue brings us to the tan right the tan and I do right the next blade up in reverse should give you approximately the same length and so with the reverse instead of going with the hair you're going against the grain but still in the same right? like if you've got colics you're gonna follow the way that the hair grows so this just makes this clip that much faster and that much cleaner. It's just uh, one of those good tips into um, time saving, right? And it makes it nicer on the dogs if they don't have to sit uh, here while we go over a coat 5,000 times. Not really, right? Um, it's less stress on them, right? They don't want to sit here and weight either. 
So that's my quick tip for the day, how to get around the crazy haired, the crazy haired pets. Let's do um, some reverse clipping. You might have to play around with um, the lengths to get the right lengths, right? But other than that, it just cleans up. Right? Somebody might say, but there's lines in it. Yeah, there's lines in it simply because I'm going reverse. And the minute I take a comb, there's my comb under the dog. The minute I take a comb and comb this coat back down, Right. Got a nice smooth cut. Dot all the crazy hairs without leaving lines in the coat. Beautiful. All right. So I'm going to finish him up. And um, I'm glad he's a super trooper. And uh, let me know if you try this technique. And let me know how it works out for you. Peace out. Carla at iGroomDogs.com. Peace. Doodlebug.